Hey, what is up, everybody? Oh, my hair is all messed up. Ooh, ooh, oh, well. I just woke up, and I saw this news, and I... Dude, what the shit is happening? This means that Bobby Kotick is gone, right? He doesn't have... He doesn't even have a say. He's gone. He is gone. That's it. But now Microsoft owns Candy Crush, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Diablo, Overwatch, Starcraft, um, Crash Bandicoot, somehow, how, what? Um, they own Proto- Dude, they own Prototype. Prototype is actually so sick, bring back Prototype! Holy shit, this is insane! Who, after the announcement of them buying Zenimax, and nobody thought, oh, this is gonna be as crazy as buying that, right? No one, Microsoft is gonna go out and pay for Activision Blizzard. Everybody thought, oh, they're gonna buy so, and they're gonna buy Sega. They're gonna buy, like, a Japanese developer. But them buying Activision Blizzard is literally crazy. Is just the most momentous, crazy moment of right now. It, I don't know what to say. The fact they own... The fact they own all this means now they own, they own most of the Western development, like uh, Western market. I don't like that. And what's crazy is Microsoft apparently bought them for $70 billion, dude. What was the last one? Uh, oh, no. Buying them for $68.7 billion officially they bought them for. They, and Disney bought Lucasfilms, Lucasfilms for $4, four billion. Sold for Mojang was sold for 2.5 billion, and how much was Zenimax? Zenimax 7.5 billion. This is the largest act. This is the largest like buyout since 68.7 billion. But people need to realize Phil Spencer isn't going to be Xbox, it's not going to be at Xbox at all time. He's a regular human being who is going to leave, you know, and when he does leave. What happens to Microsoft then? Are we going to have a Jim Ryan situation? Are we then going to have a Don Matrix situation? What is going to happen? The only reason why Xbox is doing so well at the moment is because of Phil Spencer. If he goes, what happens? Like, all of this could just jump down. Like, uh, Phil Spencer is a great leader. He's a great, he's a great person to work on, I'm pretty sure. Because for everything he's been saying and for everything he's been doing, the only big L he's taken recently is the, is the ban thing. But besides that, he's been right on every single occupation. Jim Ryan, on the other hand, has been wrong on everything else. We're not doing Generations. They, they started believing. No, they don't believe in Generations, but then they start believing in Generations when they realize they can't make enough PS5s. Then they go, hey... Uh, seventy dollar games, and everyone's like, "Bro, seventy seventy dollars in the UK, we had to pay seventy pound for some reason, even though that doesn't convert to seventy dollars is bullshit." But okay, sure, seventy dollars, I guess. And when digital games, they shouldn't even cost seventy dollars; they should cost fifty, you know, because they're digital. Anyway, um. Game Pass is clearly not doing great for Xbox, right? It's it's been it's, it's definitely been um on the side of losing money. But them announcing they own Call of Duty, the number one game of all time, sells every single year, number one in every single chart, no matter when you look at it, no matter how you look at it, every single goddamn year Call of Duty sells. And with them re uh, remaking uh, Modern Warfare, and with the next one, Modern Warfare 2 coming out, it's going to be huge. Microsoft literally is going insane. Activision Blizzard owns so many games, it's crazy. It is in, it's just, they own all of this. They own literally all of this now. And if, act, and if, I think value games are something different. But, but like, you look at 2020, Activision, nothing. You look at 2010 to 2019, however, and you realize the insane amount of games Activision Blizzard, like, actually own they own transformers wolf of cybertron crash uh i mean we already said that before crash bending nitro cart 2 there was a nitro cart 2 i didn't realize oh wow dude they own the simpsons game activision owns that simpsons game simpsons simpsons are still crazy huge so if you get that oh my god you bring back home run hit hit run i'll be day one i'll be there i'll be there i'll be like yo let's go 
True Crime they own uh yet yeah, dude they own True Crime Max Stoll's very own GTA right there Sleeping Dogs was meant to be a True Crime Shrek 2 woo <laughs> That is not okay this is not okay I don't know what to say Yeah but now this means now the only really good thing this means is that Microsoft Morris is going to shape up Blizzard they didn't like Activision Blizzard all the shit that's happening in there it's going to have to go right all of it's going to have to go don't get me wrong Microsoft has their own list of bad history but i do not like again once again i do not like the idea that Microsoft is owning a lot of these corporations because then you run into the issue of Disney where how that is then handled in the long run. Phil Spencer is the only reason why everyone's happy Xbox is around. But if Xbox wasn't here and it was done metric, then is everyone going to be as happy as they are, as they are? Iris, just jump in the box, mate. And going down in the comments, it seems everybody is going like ham, dude. It do imagine Doom Guy and Crash Bandicoot along with like Banjo. No, Banjo Kazooie is dead. Don't worry, Banjo Kazooie owned by owned by Rare. Rare doesn't want to make a new game. That's Rare's fault. Rare's trying to make the dumb little game, and it's just not going well. Dude, I don't like it. I don't like it that Microsoft is owning all of these corporations. It is just going to hurt Sony in the long run, and I want competition. Who doesn't want competition? But Activision Blizzard have really screwed themselves over. And with Microsoft then buying them out, this means that the Activision Blizzard launcher will be irrelevant. Eventually, all those games will be on Game Pass. Eventually, um, DRM, stuff like that, will be gone. Uh, I hope so. DRM on the Xbox is kind of shit. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't like the idea they, they come, they're consulting, they're basically isolating the industry to their, their, themselves. It's more like Disney, right? It's exactly like Disney. But now this just means that people are going to have to buy an Xbox if they want to play Call of Duty. And because of how amazing that game does every single year, I don't see it going away. That game beats out Mario Kart, which is also like number one, usually like number one, number two on the charts every single year. Look at the UK charts every single month. It's always number one, always number one, always number one. And with, even with this latest Call of Duty game being the worst, Microsoft isn't going to change the culture. I, I, I think Microsoft will change the culture at Activision Blizzard, but it won't change the overall general corporation ideals there like making a yearly um call of duty i think Microsoft realizes they can make so much money just releasing a yearly game but because with game pass and now with them owning game pass i don't know how that's gonna work out so we're gonna have to see i think this is just an a, i think this is just a way to get more people to jump on the game pass because that's already been known to losing them a lot of money like they're already losing loads of money uh anyway i don't like the fact they own it but this is what we have to deal with in the future because i think microsoft realizes this is the future you look at tencent they're owning they're buying up every single game corporation that you can imagine microsoft is now trying to buy as many game corporations they can also just before tencent can do that themselves i'm sure activision got a um wait does this mean activision does this mean microsoft is technically like has a relationship with Tencent because Activision is owned by Blizzard, but then both of those are technically owned, not owned, but they have a relationship with Tencent. This is going to be a weird one. Okay, this is kind of weird. All right. Um, wow. Crazy. Let's just look at what these notifications are. They're gonna they're going to double the price. There's no way they can own all these. They can't own all these. Alright. Yeah, I just hope they actually bring back Crash and other and Spyro. Dude, Spyro will be sick. Oh just give me prototype, man. Just give me a third prototype. That series was so sick. That would be like Xbox's infamous. I mean, it was infamous at the time. It was both of them were competing, but then Mark then Activision screwed over that development team. And I'm very baffled at what they were doing. Okay, as I was just editing the video, I found uh, the actual article talking about the buyout. So let's just go over it. So 
CEO continuing to serve in that role. Oh, wait, so he's going to serve in that role, but he's not going to stay in that role for a while. He's going to be gone. It's kind of obvious. Microsoft owns it. They don't want uh, Bobby Kotick around. And I think what that means is he's going to take a bigger sever severance package. But if that means making them better, I'm okay with that. That that little shithead can go die off in like, uh, <laughs> in like, in like a river and no one would care. Um, yeah, Microsoft will pay 95 Dollars share in cash for one of the most legendary gaming publishers known as the top. Yeah, yeah we know that. I think, yeah, Microsoft plans to keep making some Activision games for PlayStation consoles, but will also keep some content exclusive to Xbox, said a person familiar with the company's thinking. Microsoft has made several accusations resulting in bolts in, in Ross's studios in 2020. It's agreed to acquire Zenimax, so that. But that, so, it's kind of, I mean, the logic was kind of obvious. They're not going to cut out Call of Duty entirely. I think that will happen eventually. But right now, Microsoft cannot risk that endeavor, right? What they're going to do is more or less say to, like, investors and everybody else, hey, Sony has to get Call of Duty. We have to make sure everybody gets that game so we can make their most amount of money. Because even now, they realize, hey, uh, Sony is making the most amount of money on on Call of Duty and if you can get people to jump to Xbox and to jump into your service then you're just going to get even more money because Sony has the idea of making things $70 Microsoft is going to stick with $70 regardless of how that goes around um yeah no everything else in here is kind of pointless they they did say they're going to add it to the day one subscription oh uh, service which gives members okay so they did I think if we're not going to charge... Okay, yeah. They said they're going to be adding all those games day one, which makes sense. I can't wait to play Diablo 2 Resurrection or Resurrected because I was going to play that originally. Uh, but I didn't uh, because uh, reasons. <laughs> no, but this is crazy for Microsoft. Anyways, if there's anything else that comes up while I'm still editing, I'll I'll go over it. But right now, there's nothing much going uh, go, talking about it besides those two things. Mm, yeah, okay. Just, I don't know what to say. Anyways, take care and see you, everybody. I'm not usually going to do these news videos, but this shit blew my mind, and I just needed to upload. I just needed to talk about it.